Hi everyone. Uh, we have completed with the last uh, session was cytoplasm. Uh, today we are going to begin with the new uh, topic that is cilia and flagella, and then we are going to uh, end till nucleus. Okay. So let's start with cilia and flagella first of all. Already we have we are we have come uh, we have come across the term. Already we have come across the term cilia and flagella. Both are hair-like projections, right? Uh, which help in the movement. Right? So if you have to go it in detail, let's study that in detail. Uh, the cilia and the flagella, uh, if you have to distinguish between a cilia and a flagella, cilia is extremely fine hair, like uh, 5 to 20 micrometer long. Okay, And flagella fairly long, whip-like, uh, average length is about 100 micrometer. Now cilia, it occur in large number and may cover the entire surface of the cell. Well, flagella fewer in number. Okay. Uh, they can be uh, one flagella, two flagella, three flagella, depends. Okay, uh, fewer in number and may also occur singly. Now, all cilia move in coordinated manner, that is a rowing pattern. Now, here the, they move by undulations forming a wave pattern. Okay, now where uh, you can give an example here. Often uh, line ducts, tubules and help, uh, and help in movement of materials in a particular direction. So as a locomotory organ which in uh, paramotion, okay, and here flagella you can give like uh, present in, it is present in euglena, spermatozoa as a locomotory organ, okay. Uh, the next uh, we got to learn about a centrosome and centrioles. The centrosome is an organelle usually containing two cylindrical structure called centrioles. They are surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar materials. Okay, now the centrioles which are there, they are kind of sub-microscopic, microtubular, barrel shaped. Okay, so that usually occur in the form of two granules. So that is the reason they are known as diplosomes. And where does it occur? It occurs in the animal cell, flagellated organisms and in structures like uh, the spores, the gametes. And they are not present in plant cells. These, these are like absent in plant cells, the centrosomes. So some lower plant cells like the motile algae, uh, they have it. Okay. Now, if you have to go with the structure, they occur in the form of a granule which is present side by side at right angle to each other. Okay. Uh, now, the cent uh, centrioles which is there, it is made up of nine groups of microtubules arranged in a circle like cartwheel organization, okay, which is tilted at an angle of 40 degree. Okay. So, the microtubules are made up of protein which is known as tubulin. Hmm? So the function of centrioles, it acts as a microtubule organizing centers which uh, during uh, the formation of spindle fibers. Okay, uh, now they act also act as a basal bodies at the base of cilia and flagella. The next one is nucleus. Now nucleus in plural if you have to say nuclei is the most important and essential part of the cell. Right? So which uh, meaning it controls uh, uh, all the cellular activities and carries the hereditary information of the cell, right? Uh, which who, who discovered uh, the nucleus? It was the Robert, it was Robert Brown in which year 1831. Okay, now if you have to go with the structure of the nucleus, it has important parts like the nuclear angula, second is nucleoplasm, the third one is chromatin network and the fourth one is nucleolus. Now when I talk about the nuclear envelope, the first one, the nuclear envelope is composed of two membranes. Okay, uh, the outer membrane is rough while the inner membrane is smooth. Uh, now outer membrane has a presence of ribosomes while the inner membrane, uh, it lacks the ribosomes. Now when I talk about the nucleoplasm, it is also called nuclear sap which is like, it is a gel like matrix within the nucleus itself. Okay, and uh, it has many chemical substances involved like enzymes, proteins, nucleotides, etc. Okay, when I talk about the chromatin fibers, chromosomes are visible during the cell division only. So, the chromatin network uh, condenses into thread or rod like structures called chromosomes. Okay, so now there are heterogeneous uh, distribution of chromatin material. So, they can be named as heterochromatin or a euchromatin. Now, when I talk about a heterochromatin, it remains tightly coiled during interface. Okay, uh, and euchromatin, it remains loosely coiled. Heterochromatin, it contains small amount of DNA and large amount of RNA, while euchromatin contains large amount of DNA. Now, when I talk about the next part, that is a nucleolus, last uh, structure uh, that is uh, of the nucleus, that is nucleolus. It is a site 
within the nucleus where the ribosomal RNA that is the rRNA is synthesized. Okay, meaning in nucleolus the rRNA is synthesized. So it is not separated from the rest of the nucleoplasm by a membrane. Okay, now what is the function of a nucleus? It uh, contains the hereditary information of the cell, right? So all instruction for reproduction, development, metabolism and behavior are present in a coil structure called the chromosomes of the nucleus. Okay, and it also controls all cellular activities of the cell. Fine, so this was all about the nucleus. So here we end with the chapter, Cell the Unit of Life. Kindly go through it properly. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you.